So it's time to crack open the Roland Joffe set from Imprint. Now, the last kind of set like this they did was the Jim Sheridan set and that was phenomenal. I'm expecting much the same here. I'm starting off with number 184, which is The Killing Fields from 1984. Now this film was one that I, I remember being everywhere uh, when I was younger, seeing posters of it. I remember maybe seeing the movie not really taking it in. So this is the first time I've watched it in the longest while and it was phenomenal. Such an emotionally impactful movie um, that really puts you through the ringer uh, as a viewer. Uh, we jump into this movie with Sydney arriving in Cambodia. He is a journalist. He's there to report on the, the war and what the American troops or the American army are doing there. He is hitting walls everywhere he goes, you know, with the, the, the army, uh, with the consulate, trying to get the real information out there. There's just some pressure going on where they don't really want the truth getting to the American people. They brought in the whole fucking press corps. They want to sanitize the story. And we have Sydney working with Dick Pran, uh, a Cambodian who's also a journalist that's helping him manoeuvre around this war zone. And at the start, you're just flung into everything. There's no real setup. We get our character landing there, we get an explosion, you get the chaos and everything that's going on. We're just flung into it, which I kind of like. Treated like adults to pick up the story as we go along, to pick up um, what we need to pick up through um, the dialogue, through what we are seeing. And what we have here is a really unstable environment as we watch these characters put their life on the lines trying to report the truth of what's going on and being hampered by the US military, um, the US politicians, just whomever that can hold them back. The Killing Fields is wonderful in creating this sense of tension and atmosphere and dread within it. This is a movie where you feel that there is a real weight going on here as people are haphazardly killed without a second thought, without even uh, a moment of guilt or look back. People are just decimated and left for dead. It's horrific and horrifying. And I look at this movie as a true horror. <laughs> It gets under your skin. It, it makes the hairs in the back of your neck stand to attention. Pams are sweaty watching this one. You have a real fear for the characters. There is so much blood, guts and destruction in this war-torn country that you really do feel it will be a miracle if anyone makes it out. It's truly horrifying. And uh, we, we get the ramping up pressure of the evacuation of Cambodia by the Americans and Sydney decides to stay behind to try to report on this situation. That Pran has a, a chance to escape but he stays with Sydney making sure that his family are evacuated to the States and as they hole up in a consulate um, you can see the real tension start to take hold of this group of people. The group of journalists that are stuck there are going to be evacuated. They stayed be behind to report on it but the sudden realisation of how violent uh, the, the country has become has become apparent and they need to get out of this situation. You know, Pran is not going to last five minutes out there, John. The Khmer Rouge have killed every fucking journalist they've ever caught. But Dip Pran, being Cambodian, cannot leave with them. He has to be thrown out to the wolves. And this is the real kind of crux and, and a horrible moment where we see all the characters try to rally together, but the futility of getting him out is just apparent uh, and he is kind of abandoned. Uh, and we watch our characters go back to their home lives, uh, go back to the States, but Sydney never lets the fact that Dip Pran is out there go away, and it's the constant search for this character. If I saw one glimmer of hope, I'd go, I'd go today. Thank God like it's not a fucking 40s movie. You can't just get on a goddamn plane and make the whole world come out right. And the second half of the movie takes a turn as we follow Dip Pran as he is um, escaping from one captor to another eventually as he makes his way through 
jungles of death, uh, fields of, of, of bodies. It's just horrible um, to really see the atrocities through the eyes of this character, to see what he has to do to try to survive. <laughs> And it's so, it's so emotionally draining watching this movie because you really feel for the characters. You really get to know that, that what they're up against, the insurmountable odds, the, the just the, the accidents that just happen because of general warfare. There's a moment near the end where Dip Pran is escaping um, with someone and something happens and you're just like that this that this doesn't happen in movies it just doesn't these kind of sequences um and and you're just distraught or i was anyway this movie um beat me up chewed me up and spat me out it, it was such an impactful movie that i literally had to just go away do something uh, just cleaning just mechanical movement just to try and detune from the movie because it had such a strong impact on me. This is a phenomenal film. Um, what it lacks and I'd say um, narrative storytelling because it, it just jumps in and creates a mood and atmosphere and gives you a context of, of the this place in the world at that time. Um, it doesn't matter because the emotional uh, aspect is, is so strong within this film that it really does just it, it drains you watching it and I don't say that in a negative way it is a movie that puts you through various emotions and gets to a point where you're satisfied at certain points but all of which you the, the journey you've gone through is going to stain your soul for the rest of the time it's just phenomenal. Um, I wish I could go on longer about this one. I, I wish I could do a more in-depth talk on it because uh, there are lots of spoilers that I want to talk about. But starting off the Roland Joffe set with the, the Killing Fields was unbelievable. Um, I, I feel like I should go on and watch more, but I really feel like I need a little bit of time between this and the next one. Just, just, just something um, to get over that. The Killing Fields is fantastic. Check it out if you haven't seen it. I think you'll find it terrific. I would love to know your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it. Whether you loved it or hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, I, please let me know. Don't forget to hit this video with a like if you appreciate this kind of uh, interview. Don't forget to hit this video with a like because it really helps. There's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And yeah, it's a downbeat. Uh, Graham at the moment because this this movie did just beat me up um, and I've not long finished watching it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.